The Wittig reaction is a very powerful way of making carbon-carbon double bonds. An alkyl halide is converted to a phosphonium illid in two steps, and a nucleophilic illid is coupled with an aldehyde or a ketone to give an alkene. The complete mechanism involves a phosphine displacing the leaving group on the alkyl halide to give a phosphonium salt, which is then deprotonated by a strong base to produce a phosphonium illid. This nucleophilic species then adds to the carbonyl through a metathesis pathway to give the alkene and a phosphonium oxide byproduct. Step 1 involves the alkyl halide being treated with a phosphine nucleophile, which replaces the halide leaving group in a substitution reaction. The phosphonium salt is often isolated by filtration. The electron withdrawing ability of the positive phosphorus now makes the alpha proton somewhat acidic, so a strong base is able to remove it. This gives the nucleophilic illid that is stabilized as described by the two resonance structures. The significant amount of electron density on the alpha carbon makes it nucleophilic, so the introduction of an aldehyde or a ketone induces nucleophilic attack and the formation of a beta ion species with a new carbon-carbon single bond. Since oxygen and phosphorus have a strong affinity for each other, the PO single bond is worth about 90 kilocalories per mole, they combine to give a cyclic oxophosphatane that is highly strained. The strained nature of the cycle causes it to open up, this time with the formation of a strong PO double bond worth about 110 kcals per mole, and a carbon-carbon double bond worth about 146 kcals per mole. The Wittig reaction is therefore a powerful method for making alkenes, in which an alkyl halide is converted to a phosphonium illid, which subsequently undergoes a metathesis process with an aldehyde or a ketone to give an alkene.